Hello Polygoners! I am Shaf of Polygon Gaming and this isn't like a full length video, it's gonna be like a sub video just to help influence decision making in your Zerg games and even if you're not a Zerg, uh, something you as a Protoss player could think about. It's the natural to natural rush distance. Um, on some maps it's a little bit shorter than others and this can influence the game. So what I want to show you here is actually going to be a game of knee. Now, it's Neeb versus Rogue, and you guys will actually see this video, uh, like the, the actual analysis of it, uh, a little bit later. Now you can see that this uh, is a low ground build, and this probe that built this, in some builds, immediately goes out and, send, and scouts. In other builds, it's delayed. Neeb is actually going to be super greedy this game, and not scout for a long time, so it's not actually relevant in this game. But with just that thought process, I want you to see Rogue's decision making here. And we're kind of cycling through this a little bit. But notice that it's 200 and he's on 16. The typical standard Zerg is actually going to send out this drone at 17, which means he's never going to let this build up to 200. This is not a mistake though by Rogue. Knowing that this is a slightly shorter rush distance, Meaning that this probe that had built, well, maybe not this probe, but the probe that built this could have come here immediately and started blocking here. If Rogue sends out this 16 hatch on this particular map, he will actually guarantee that this hatchery goes down instead of having to change where it's at. This is one of the most common maps for this type of play from the Protoss. There are other maps where it's more vi where it is viable just based on this rush distance. So we can actually calculate how long it takes a probe to go from here to here, which we're going to do now. So around, say 17 seconds is the earliest that this could have been sent out. And Cybercore, so, all right, at a minute and 35 is when this probe is going to start out and it arrives at basically 205. So it's a 30 second, give or take, walking distance. So on maps where it takes longer than that to get from the natural to the natural, anything shorter than that is a map where you might want to take an earlier expansion. Anything longer than that, maybe not. And the difference is one drone, all it takes to keep you safe. Now, the question is how, how much of an economic impact is that gonna have in your game? Actually, it's quite a bit. So there is some give and take here. But me, if you ask me, and apparently if you ask Rogue, it's worth it. Thanks for tuning in guys. I am Shaft with Polygon Gaming. I'm very happy to be back. Thank you so much for bearing with the hiatus and I look forward to producing many, many more videos for you guys in the future. If you like this content, make sure you subscribe. Ring that bell because subscribing is not enough on YouTube anymore. And if you want to support us, in what we're doing now and in future endeavors. That means uh, local area events in the North Carolina area that we are going to be starting up soon. That means online events for your favorite players like Neeb, like Scarlet, like Rogue, like Classic, Innovation, and all the other famous names that you guys love that we've had on this channel before and even some we haven't. We'd love to bring those to you guys as well. We want to get back into the swing of things. So if you guys want to see that as well, please visit us on patreon.com slash polygon sc2. Don't forget to send your replays in polygon sc2 at gmail.com where I will be monitoring the emails to make sure you guys are sending in replays and we will throw those in fun day Monday, newbie Tuesday, and all the other content we are producing. Thank you so much guys. Until next time, shadow late my dudes. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.